best financial yep. performance ever. Break that down for us. Well, what's happening, you know, we've got a lot of customers, I think, across the nation, but certainly here in Los Angeles and in Southern California, they have a lot of money, a lot of savings, and they are outspending it, and they're spending it across the board. And I think what we've seen, if you take a look at the credit card data, a lot more money is being spent on themselves outside of the home, and they're shopping, and they're dining, they're going to the movies, and they're doing it with consistency and a very high conversion rate. So we're excited about the growth that we're seeing across our portfolio. So despite the fact that we are seeing these reports and increased case numbers around the Delta variant of COVID, you've got this reimposed mask mandate in L.A. as well. That's not having an effect. You don't expect it to? We don't see it having an effect. And now, maybe it will down the road. I don't think so. I mean, your earlier guests were talking about how they don't believe it's going to impact the economy. And we're not seeing that. Now, it's only in L.A. County also, the mask mandate. But I think people are worn out and tired, and they want to be out, so they'll freely wear the mask. And if it's a requirement, obviously they should. But, you know, what I'm hoping for is that decisions that are made in this go-around, that they're formed by the data, they're formed by the science, and we're out of the business mm. of emotion and politics. So given the fact that consumers are out and they're spending, I mean, certainly we've seen the, the trickle-through of all that stimulus money, folks sitting on... Uh, record amounts of savings as well. How sustainable is this level of spending, do you think, at your properties? Well, you know, the estimate is across the country have over $2 trillion of what's called forced savings, right, where people have saved money because they haven't been out and spent. The stimulus is going to end at some point, and I think it should at some point. But there's a massive amount of money that all of us have saved, and that is just starting to get unleashed. And when you take a look at the data, it's only beginning to be spent. So I'm very bullish that we're in a big recovery here. It's going to last for some time, I think, at least through the next couple of years. And good retailers, good operators, good restaurateurs are going to be the big winners in this. Wow. That's fascinating, Rick. I, I do want to drill down with you on, on movie theaters specifically. I know The Grove uh, has, uh, has a, some experience in this recently uh, on AMC. Uh, do you believe, what, what's it going to take? For theater chains to bring back uh, customers in, in large numbers and con consistently in the months and years to come. Hey, Carl, you know, I think it's like everything we've seen during the pandemic. People want to feel safe. They want the place to be clean. They want a great experience. You've got to delight them. Um, AMC, which took over the two theaters, one at the Grove, one at uh, the Americana, two of the highest grossing theaters historically in the country. They're going to be investing millions of dollars in new seats and new technology, so that's state of the art. All of us want great experiences. And I tell you, after we've gone through the pandemic, you want a sense of joy and a sense of community, and theaters do that. And of course, the studios have to put out some great movies for the big screen, which, talking to the studio presidents, which I've done personally, they've got a great run of movies coming out. So I, I think it's going to be big. I think AMC is betting big on us and our properties. They're spending a fortune on the properties, and they're very, very confident that they're going to do some significant revenues and really beat the past highs that we had over the last decade in terms of total ticket sales. Rick, do you have enough workers? It's a problem. We have a problem across the board. Our hotel, the retail restaurants, we're struggling to hire. I think the stimulus needs to go away. It served its purpose. It was great at the moment. And now let's encourage people to get back to work and let's reward people with the right wages. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.